Hello friends, the question is like this, we have to evaluate the value of this integral square root of 1 minus root x upon 1 plus root x with respect to x. Okay, now to solve this integral, what I see here is this, that uh, this integral is in the form of 1 minus root x upon 1 plus root x. So if you see that integral is in this form, then you can solve this question by uh, applying this substitution. Here I've taken x is equal to cos square theta. You can also take for similar problems the substitution as x is equal to cos theta, x is equal to cos root theta, depending on the requirement in that question. Okay, so on substituting x is equal to cos square theta and, and taking d upon dx of both sides, I'm going to get dx is equal to minus 2 cos theta sine theta d theta. Now you can see that the differentiation of cos square theta would be equal to 2 cos theta into d uh, into differentiation of of cos theta that will be equal to minus sin theta so i obtain here dx is equal to minus 2 cos theta sin theta d theta now i'm going to perform the substitution so i'm going to get this minus 2 is written outside cos theta sin theta d theta instead of dx and for square root of x i have written cos theta so I get this as equal to minus 2 times integration of square root of 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta into cos theta sin theta d theta. Further to simplify this terms inside the square root sign what I'm going to do I'm going to place 1 plus cos theta as equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 and 1 minus cos theta as equal to 2 sin square theta by 2. So I'm going to obtain this as equal to minus 2 times integration of square root of 2 sin square theta by 2 upon 2 cos square theta by 2 into cos theta sin theta d theta. This 2 and 2 cancels out. Okay. And both the terms of square and this square root sign are going to cancel out. So I'm going to get this as equal to minus 2 times integration of sin 2 theta by 2 cos 2 theta by 2 into cos theta sin theta d theta. Okay. Further, what I've done? I have applied the formula of sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a for this term to write sin theta is equal to 2 sin, is, uh, 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Now what is the benefit of this step? We have cos theta by 2 in the denominator also. So this cos theta by 2, this cos theta by 2 cancel out and this sin theta by 2 sin theta by 2 is going to give me sin square theta by 2 so i'm going to get this as minus 4 times integration of sin square theta by 2 cos theta d theta okay further i've written cos theta as equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1 okay so this term is further simplified by opening this bracket so i'm going to get this as equal to minus 4 times integration of 2 sin square theta by 2 cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2 d theta further i can write these two terms as two separate integrals as minus 2 into integration of 2 square sin square theta by 2 cos square theta by 2 d theta plus 2 times integration of 2 sin square theta by 2 d theta so what i've done I've taken a 2 from this 4 and written with this 2 to give me 2 square here and this minus 4 and this minus sign will become plus and from this 4 I've taken a 2 and written with 2 sin square theta by 2. Okay, so all these three terms can be written as minus 2 times integration of 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 whole square t theta. Okay, and this can be written as this 2 sin square theta by 2 can be written as 1 minus cos theta d theta. Okay. Now, we know that 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2, this can be written as sin theta. So, I can write this as equal to minus 2 times integration of sin square theta d theta. And this term, I have written as it is. Okay. Further, I'm going to write this sin square theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 and this term as it is. Okay, this 2 and 2 cancels out to give me minus time integration of 1 minus cos 2 theta plus integration of plus 2 times the integration of 1 minus cos theta d theta. Now, my simplification is about about done. 
now i can perform the integration so integration of 1 will be equal to theta integration of cos to theta would be equal to sin theta by sin to theta by 2 again this will be equal to theta and integration of cos theta would be equal to sin theta on multiplying with the minus sign outside i'm going to get this as minus theta plus sine to theta upon 2 and here i'm going to get plus 2 theta minus sine theta minus 2 sine theta plus c this 2 theta and minus theta gives me theta plus sine theta by 2 and this minus 2 sine theta plus c okay now i have started the integration or we can say that the integral which was given to us was in terms of x so we will substitute the value of theta in terms of x to get the final answer okay so for this what is what is need to be done further i'm going to write sine to theta as equal to 2 sine theta cos theta so so new so in numerator we have two and denominator we have to they are going to cancel out to give me sine theta cos theta and the remaining terms as it is now now we had substituted x is equal to cos square theta so this means that cos theta is equal to root x sin theta is equal to square root of 1 minus x or x is equal to cos inverse of sorry or theta is equal to cos inverse of root x so for theta i place cos inverse of root x for sin theta i place square root of 1 minus x for cos theta i place root x for uh, sin theta again i place square root of 1 minus x plus c so these so these terms form my answer as equal to cos inverse of root x plus square root of x minus x square minus 2 times square root of 1 minus x plus c which is my required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk Thank you.